It's homecoming night for both Fairmont schools tonight. East Fairmont is hosting Preston here at Duval Rozier Field. And then down the street, Fairmont Senior is hosting Braxton County. It's time to take a look at our good hands of the week. And for week one, it was extremely impressive. Brooke quarterback Aaron Walker drops back and fires a pass. It's off the receiver's hands into the hands of Morgantown's Matthew McMillan. That's a fantastic catch and better for the senior Mohegan. If you don't know this by now, I'll tell you again. The Bridgeport Indians are rolling. In week six, the Indians defeated the Fairmont Senior Polar Bears by 23 points. Now we're going to turn the focus over to the Liberty Mountaineers. I talked to them a few weeks ago, and they said they are not accepting anything less than a winning season in 2013. Not quite the East-West game, but it's pretty close. The North Marion Huskies travel down Route 250 to take on a very good Fairmont senior team here in Week 2. Make sure when you're going out to your games tonight, bring that heavy jacket, bring your gloves, and if you see me on the sidelines, please, please bring me a hot chocolate. They have passionate coaches, great leadership, a lot of talent, and a brand new home to call their very own. Back, Lewis County returned several of its starters from last year's state playoff team. However, the Minutemen had trouble slowing down University in week one. Kaiser dominated from start to finish and ended up earning a spot in the state title game. But we are about an hour and a half away from kickoff. The place is starting to fill up and everybody is so excited. Guess we have a special guest here tonight. Superintendent of Schools James Farish joins me here. What brings you out here tonight? We got our first look at the NFL season on Thursday night as the Super Bowl champion Baltimore Ravens traveled to Denver to take on the Broncos. But there is nothing, and I mean nothing, that screams football like Sundays. Week six already? Seriously, it's crazy how time flies. Week six, and we finally, finally got these trophies, and it's better late yes. than Never. <laughs> Tonight was another one of those nights where we had a really hard time narrowing down tons of great catches to only three. You know what? This is football weather, and this is exactly what we've been waiting for. Notre Dame is hoping to come off of a rebound tonight after a really tough loss against Madonna. Good evening, and welcome inside the 12 Sports Zone. I'm Kelsey Pape. How strong would you say that you are? If someone told you to lift 800 pounds, would you be able to do it? It's now time for one of the best moments in the show. It's yes. good hands time. For the past couple of years, the closest that the North Marion Huskies have gotten to a winning season is with a five and five record. That completely different season is going to start tonight in their brand new home. They can finally call their very own this is their first mascot. They just recently got one. How exciting is that to be the mascot? It's beautiful weather, crazy fans, and a lot of rivalries. Let's get back into it. The Webster County Highlanders are taking on arch rival Richwood for the wagon wheel. That's right. We came out to Western Maryland to take on the ASCII Whitewater course. And guys, I think we picked a pretty good day. I can't even imagine how awesome that scene is going to be. Probably just as exciting as it's going to be in Buckhannon tonight, right, Andrew? The Pittsburgh Steelers hosted the Tennessee Titans this afternoon. It was a weird start to the game with a Titans safety, but after Isaac Redmond fumbled in the end zone, the Steelers just couldn't recover. The Titans end up defeating the Steelers at Heinz Field 16 to 9. Braxton needs to do exactly the same thing they did to Liberty that night, and that is to force turnovers and to capitalize. We'll have a full highlights tonight at 11. Live in Fairmont, I'm Kelsey Pape. Andrew, over to you. When you're welcomed into Bearcat Country on August 30th, almost nothing will be the same. You'll see a brand new turf field. You'll see two brand new scoreboards, and you'll meet a team with an amazing amount of passion and won't accept anything less than a winning season. Here's quarterback Luke Yoakum with a long bomb to Dylan Weimer. While Cats up 14 zip with just 39 seconds left in the half. Pendleton strikes again as Justice Good battles into the end zone. Wildcats win 34 to 6. Many people use the game of golf to relax, go hang out with friends, and get away from their everyday life. While that still may be the case, hundreds of people attend the Frank Police Golf Tournament every year because every stroke is for a good cause. However, that's right. This has been the talk of the town for a year now. I'm joined now by Principal Joseph Finley. He's here to tell us how excited you are about this night. Okay. Nothing says wild and wonderful like a boat, a lake and some water skis. Growing up in Pittsburgh, I never really had the opportunity to take advantage of water sports until now. I am standing here with one of the key fundraising people for from Friends of McKinney Field. They raised thousands of dollars to get this project done. John, how excited are you to finally be standing out here with this brand new turf field? Now we'll get back to the gridiron. We've taken you the past week to introduce you to several high school football teams throughout North Central West Virginia, and today is no different. Let's head down to Taggart's Valley to find out why the Bulldogs won't accept anything less than a winning season in 2013. South Harrison traveled to Gilmer County this evening to take 
take on the Titans. Let's jump into the second quarter. South Harrison has the ball. Gilmer is going to go for the tackle, but Austin Davis drops that ball. Austin Ratliff picks it up and let's speed this up for a second and boom, runs 65 yards down the field for the touchdown. And our next play, another South Harrison fumble. Gilmer's Thomas Herkel Road picks up the ball from the 50 yard line and runs it all the way to the house. Gilmer takes this one 18 nothing. We're going to be right back with a look at your Good Hands nominees yes. and boy, these are going to be hard to choose. Right. Stick with us.